Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Today I have a really, really special treat for you. And this is because everybody's been asking for it, so here it is. Remco's finally agreed to do a modeling quick tip for us, so I'm really excited to introduce you to Remco. Take it away, Remco. Hi there, this is Remco from Remac 3 d um, I want to show you uh, a way to uh, make some um, welding stitches. Um, we're going to use a cylinder two cylinders in fact copy this one make it a bit smaller and put on the X axis then these guys are going into a boolean object and I select union and click all of these then I'm going to make it editable Press the V key, loop selection, and we've got this this loop selected, and we're gonna take this edge and use it later. I'm gonna copy this, going back some steps, so we only have these two cylinders. Paste the boolean spline, and take a sweep nerb, a four side, and let's make this uh, well, let's say two by two. And put the boolean in there, sweep nerve in there, and as you can see, we've got a well, ugly sweep nerve. Um, I'm going to increase the size a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, make it editable, connect all of these together, and we'll select all of them. Now in polygon mode I'm going to use the bevel tool and uh, have preserved groups ticked off and just bevel it like something like this and then put this object in a hypernerp and you see well maybe that was a bit harsh do it like this So this is something like a weld, welded effect, right? So just a quick tip, maybe you think it's ugly but it could be in, come in handy if you're um, modeling uh, some industrial pipes that need a bit of uh, grungy textures. You can get, a, can get away with this. It's a very easy way to, to uh, have a welded effect. That was my quick tip. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you again.